Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie holds a pizza and politics event at a residence in Keene, New Hampshire on Wednesday, November 1st. I have to say that I give the president credit since October 7th. I think the things he said has made sense, and I think him going to Israel was a really important symbolic move representing our country and our loyalty to Israel. And if you wonder how important those is, that those kind of things are. Democracy of Donald Trump. <clears throat> he stood behind I told him no. Now, let me promise you that when I say no, I'm going to become unpopular. I saw it happen in the Jamaica. Back work requirements, um, in, in deeper work requirements into welfare and Medicaid. And for the sake of just firing Kevin McCarthy, they got rid of that bill, and now none of those things were in the bill that they ultimately all voted on. We have to get back to honoring work by requiring work. It encourages them or requires them to have to. Have to. The American presidency is not a dictatorship, thank goodness. And so for me, I voted for the first time in 1980 when I turned 18 years old, and I voted for Ronald Reagan. Federal programs that we pay for that we never get any direct benefit out of. So for instance, let's take another safety net program, food stamps. I've been fortunate in my life, I've never had to be on food stamps. But I pay, as do you, in your taxes, for a very large food stamp program. I don't begrudge that, because I don't want people in this country, if we can avoid it, going to bed hungry. But if I say, well, if I'm never going to use food stamps, why should I pay for it? Well, we start to apply that test to everything, we're going to have a problem. So on Social Security, we need to come to a number of, what do you have to have in assets for your retirement, for you to say, it's okay on Social Security. What is that number? That'd be a product of negotiation with the Congress and everyone else, but we have to go after it. Because if we don't, we're going to be in the spot you talked about in 10 years. So look, I didn't get struck by that. your first comment. First of all, Hamas. Uh, I think we should hold candidates too. And Donald Trump and Vivek and, and Ron, to me, fit in that category. So... We have an obligation in the primary to say what we really believe and to say why we think our options would be better. And by nature, that's going to mean some critical things are said. Um, but I don't make my decisions on what I believe is right or wrong based upon around because they still are the second biggest economy in the world, not the first.